Hey everybody, in today's episode of The Vintage Bartender, we're going to be taking a look at the 24-day advent calendar, stocking stuffer, booze edition. Check it out, you're not going to want to miss it. Hey everybody, this is Troy with The Vintage Bartender. Today, we're going to check out the stocking stuffer advent calendar. I picked this thing up at my local Costco. Um, it promises 24 days of boozy goodness. Uh, one and a half ounces or 50 milliliters at a time. Um, so I've always wanted to get one of these. Uh, each year I see it in the store around Christmas time. I've always, you know, resisted the urge to get it. But today I thought I would get it, bring it back, check it out with you guys, maybe see if it's worth it. Would I do it again? Would I not? Uh, maybe this is perfect for you. Maybe it's perfect as a gift for you or for a loved one. Um, so let's jump inside this thing, check out what's in there, and uh, and let's just get to it. All right, um, before we get into it, this was, I think, $64.99. So, not cheap in the, in the gift department, so, you know, it's gotta be somebody special, maybe, uh, for you. Um, so that's kind of what originally, you know, held me back from getting this in the first place, but this year, I thought, what the hell? Um, and if there's 24 mini bottles, comes out to around, I don't know, $2.70 per, per little one. So, you know, not bad from a price point perspective if you divide it out. Also, you get a chance, or at least I thought I would, um, to maybe try some things that I wouldn't buy normally. So instead of, you know, committing to a 35, uh, you know, dollar bottle of you know 750 milliliters of, of one of these maybe I could check it out in the small form and see if it's something I might want to might want to get later on so with that let's get into it see what's in here and uh, see what happens all right so it's still locked for my protection oh I should have got a knife this is a knife. <laughs> I don't know if you guys get that reference. Um, Crocodile Dundee. All right. Ooh. What? There's Velcro. There's Velcro involved. All right. So I just took off the little seal at the bottom, Velcro it off, and stocking stuffer advent calendar. Actually, I don't know what is here. Oh, nice. It kind of looks like a calendar. I like it. And we got a little fireplace up here. So, you know, it could be a permanent fixture in your home. Um, and we have our little 24 days here. Kind of all jumbled up. So you kind of got to find the day for you. Um, so for us, uh, instead of doing this 24 days in a row, I thought I'd just open them all up, see what's inside, and uh, maybe make a cocktail out of one of them if I, you know, get some inspiration. So with that, um, let's jump into it. I will say on the back of the box here, it has some product notes of what's inside, um, which I actually didn't read before I bought it, um, which is kind of funny. Uh, so this one promises 24 mini bottles made to bring the merry, as they say. Um, however, they only show 12 bottles, so I get a feeling they're going to double up on me. Uh, again here. So I'm guessing that we'll probably have 12 bottles that you see pictured here um, and they just give you two of them. Uh, and that goes along similarly with what's on the back and the alcohol inside. So uh, we have in, in the uh, stocking stuff for advent calendar, absolute vodka, absolute citron, Jameson original, Jameson stout edition, Jameson IPA edition, Jameson cold brew. Um, that was one of the reasons that um, I actually bought it. it was for the Jameson. I'm a fan of the Jameson original. I've never actually tried some of the other variations of Jameson, um, but I never really wanted to commit to a whole bottle. So that's kind of one of the impetuses for me of, you know, getting this thing. Uh, beyond that, we have a Martell Blue Swift, which I didn't even know what it was. I had to Google it uh, to see what it is. We have a Chivas Regal, Chivas, yeah, Chivas Regal, Regal, I don't know, maybe Regal sounds more regal um at 18 year old and then we have four different glen livet scotches um and that was one of the other reasons i i tried it i've never been a scotch guy um but 
you know, I feel like it's part of my alcoholic journey that, that I've been missing out on. So I thought I would give some scotch a try and maybe see which one I like the best. Maybe become a scotch drinker, who knows? Maybe this will be a scotch channel next. Crazier things have happened. Um, so that's kind of what we got in the box, but the proof's in the pudding. Let's open up the calendar and see what's inside. All right, day number one, which is first day of, where the hell is it? Aha, normally we do this on the 1st of December. Um, hopefully we get this video out in time for you, if you really love this, to run out and get yourself one. Um, that said, number one, we have, whoa, we have nothing in there. What? There's no bottle in there. Where'd it go? I see other bottles. Okay. What's going on here? Am I getting punked? Um, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna open this up so you see it. You see it? Open it up. No bottle. Just a just an empty hole. Which for day number one is kind of disappointing. Uh, let's find out where it went. Let's see. I don't see any bottles on the bottom. I stick my hand in the hole, nothing there. Um, okay, so so day number one, we're gonna just remain sober. Uh, they wanna ease you into it. Um, make sure you don't you know, drink too much to begin with. Uh, well, let's keep going through here and see what else we find. Hopefully there's some booze in here or I might have to just return this bad boy. All right, number two. There we go. Something there, that's nice, thank you. Number two, Jameson Triple Distilled Irish Whiskey. Classic JMO, which I'm a huge fan of, so I'd start the uh, you know the month off right. All right. I'm just gonna power through these, and we'll see what what we got in here. All right, where's number three? Number three, we have. I'll keep them with their number. Oh, little. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. We have the Glenlivet 12 Year Single Malt Scotch Whiskey which is one I've, you know, want to try. So that's kind of a pretty cool thing. All right, number four. We have Jameson Cast Makes Stout Edition. So this is one that I've actually wanted to try for a while, so I'm pretty excited about that one. Man, that was a rocky start with number one. How, how come, oh, I, I'm, I'm peeking down, you know, into this row. Number nine is missing too. All right. All right. Where's number five? Number five. We have Jameson Cask Makes Cask Mates IPA Edition. So we have some Jameson made and some, I assume, some IPA barrels. All right. We're on number five. Let's find out where number six is. Boom. There she blows. Oh, please, sir. Some of them don't want to come out, and some of them are missing. I don't understand. Whew. Almost there. It's coming. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, shit. Jameson Cask Makes IPA Edition. Some very strong glass. Uh, the perpetrator of that was the Absolute Citroen. I'm gonna go get that bottle and it's gonna be back like magic when I snap my fingers. Whew, that was a crisis averted. All right, so we have one through six. We are one quarter of the way through our number 24. All right, number seven. Let's see what we have here. The Glenlivet Single Malt 
Scotch whiskey, Caribbean Reserve. Uh, again, something I would probably never buy uh, on its own, but maybe it's my new favorite. We'll, we'll find out. All right, number eight. We have something. The Glenlivet Founders Reserve. A couple back-to-back -back scotches. I like it. All right, number nine is uh, missing. Do I see it? It's buried back there. Well, that might be number one. All right, so one and nine are MIA for the moment, but they think they are included, so I, I can tone down the rage. All right, number 10. Number 10. Yeah. Whew, some of this packaging. Uh, the Glenlivet, 14 years, Scott Mulch. Scott, single malt scotch whiskey. Another one I probably would never buy on its own. However, I get to try it in a little mini size. All right, number 11. What do we got here? Ooh, this is the Martell Blue Swift. I like it. Uh, made of cognac VSOP, then finished in, in uh, bourbon casks. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, kind of a nice little shape of a bottle there. All right, number 12. We are halfway through our 24 days of Christmas. Oh, son of a it's missing too. So one, nine, 12, I don't know what you are, but we're gonna just assign something to you when, when we get there. All right, lucky number 13 is there. And it is a little simple absolute vodka. I like it. Tried and true. All right, 14. And we get to, it's like a Jameson, Jameson triple distilled Irish whiskey. So another, so we have our first repeat. Um, and so, um, you know, just throwing this out there. I'm probably gonna repeat the rest of the way. However, we don't know. Maybe there's like a, a little Easter egg in there. Who knows? All right, number 15. 15 here is Glenlivet 12 year, which is somewhere right here, which is a number three. All right, number 16. Yeah, put there, we got Cast Mix Stout Edition. All right, so let's just power through the rest of these. I'm pretty sure they're kind of going to be doubling up here on us. So number 17. We have the Castmates IPA edition, uh, number 18. I mean, it's kind of cool how these little doors come out. So it's kind of like a little, little fun thing here. But 18 is, oh, this is what I knocked everything over with before. Yeah. Absolute Citron, <laughs> it's the same one. All right, number 18 there. Uh, number 19, up yonder, we have Glenlivet Caribbean Reserve, or Caribbean Reserve, Caribbean, Caribbean sounds more appropriate. Number 20, Glenlivet Founders Reserve, and we are in the home stretch. Number 21, down here, ooh, Jameson Cold Brew. So this must be one of the missing, missing ones that we had before. There we go. Uh, number 22, it's getting really close to Christmas now. And we have a little, little Glenlivet 14 here, getting close, I like it. Gotta warm up the belly with that one. All right, number 23. Advent calendar, oh, this is the that big one. Yep, the Martell. And then finally, number 24, the last of them is, oh, Chivas Regal. So I think we're missing, oh, here, rolling around in there. All right, I see a Chivas Regal, Absolute Vodka, and uh, some kind of Jameson, I guess, cold brew. Yep, Jameson cold brew. So let's 
release release them from their their layer so we can get them all out here this is what use a bar spoon for usually but you know in a pinch it works all right the inner workings of the boozy advent calendar that that and okay so let's throw this back up here so I don't know what do you think the first day I doubt it they started off with cold brew um, day 13 was absolute vodka so I'm guessing day one might have been some absolute vodka 113 sounds good to me and then we have a little Shivas Regal in 24. So I'm guessing we were at 12 with that. And then 9 and 21 for our Jameson cold brew. Um, so as you see, you know, quite a few little mini drinks to make. Um, I have 24 cocktails in front of me. Um, you know, value wise, buying this pack is definitely cheaper than buying all these individually. So there's that, um, not false advertising, but kind of gets your hopes up a little bit with the 24 days to bring the Mary, um, when really they just bring 12 days of Mary two times. Um, so that's a little disappointing. However, it still has things in here that I've, I've wanted to try, but can't pull the trigger on a big bottle. So for me, is it worth it? Um, only if you really want to try some of these that are in here. Um, if you've tried a lot of these and you're like, nah, not my jam, or yeah, I got a big bottle lying around. Um, you know, it's a novelty thing. Um, so if you're doing it purely for, you know, the booze, you know, probably not worth it, but you're probably not buying this just for the booze. I mean, it's cool. It's a cool little thing to do. Um, fun little, you know, 24 cocktails. Uh, throughout the merry month of December. Um, so for me, I'm glad I bought it because uh, I'm going to try some different Jamesons that I haven't tried. I'm going to try some scotch that I haven't tried or probably wouldn't really ever try. Um, so for me, it was worth it. Would I get it more than once? Probably not. I think this is a one and done dealio. When I see this in Costco next year, I'm probably going to be like, that was cool. Tried some new stuff, bought that bottle, you know, but as far as, you know, getting it every year for like a tradition, you know, I'm going to pass on that. So take that for what you will, recommendation, not, I don't know, kind of, uh, kind of depends on you and, and what you're getting it for. Now, if you don't know what to get somebody and you want to get them about a $65 gift um, and they like drinking cocktails, you know, I think it's a great thing. Um, it's fun. It's cool. Besides having a few quote unquote missing um, in the packaging department, um, everything else is pretty, pretty good about this. I like the little pulling out of the doors, kind of a little exciting surprise. Great gift idea for, for somebody. Um, I wish somebody would have bought it for me. So that tells you something. All right, that just about wraps us up for the stocking stuffer advent calendar. Uh, hopefully, you know, you learned a little something peeking inside the box and seeing what was inside. Maybe see if it's something you want to get for yourself or for a loved one. Um, but for me, I'm glad I got it. Um, look forward to making some cocktails with these. Maybe we'll make some, some more videos of some of these cocktails with some of these, these new alcohols for me. Uh, but until next time, have a happy holidays and we'll see you again soon. All right, bye-bye. Feel more comfortable with the Santa hat on. Hey everybody, on this edition, edition, what are we, print? Edition, no, we're not, we're not print. I don't print anything. Edition, new edition. Start over, okay. What's inside? Be sure to take, just to keep, keep the, stay tuned for your, you know, boozy loved one. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't call them boozy loved ones. That sounds alcoholic. That's probably a bad thing. Mm, I needed to drink more before this. That was good enough. We'll piece together something there. All right.